on. Here we go. Uh, I'm wearing purple, but Rocco did me one even better because he's wearing a Prince Purple Rain t-shirt. And to do a tribute and to talk about the amazing career of Prince, who we lost way too young in 57, Rocco Pa Safume. Thank you very much, guys. Um, the thing with Prince is, where do you even start? I mean, Prince was just, the, his influence runs so deep in popular music. I think next to Michael Jackson, he's pretty much the textbook of everything we listen to in modern dance pop music, as well as urban music. I mean, you look at the things that he started in music, the pushing of sexually explicit lyrics in music, which, you know, you look at music in, in the early 80s, he, there were hardly anybody doing the kind of music he was doing. You know, there weren't a lot of black performers doing the kind of music he was doing. He was doing rock music at a time where, you know, when you were a black performer, all you did was basically R&B. And he managed to push that further and further the, the notion of what it would be to be a black musician, you know, out the window, you know, doing rock music, doing psychedelia, doing hip hop. I mean, he just did everything. Like, there were no limits to Prince. And the other aspect to Prince that is just incredible for me is the fact that, is all the contradictions that make up Prince in his, in his art. The fact that he, you know, wanted to go into film and you have the, the amazing, uh, incredible success that was Purple Rain. Purple Rain combined some of the best music he had done up to that point with, you know, just the footage of, of you know, I mean, it's not much of a movie, it's more like a, an extended music video, but in the sense that it ha that hadn't been done before. Nobody had ever seen anything like that, and that was huge. And just, you know, and you saw the amazing, amazing, you know, the performances, and it shows like just how incredible Prince was already. And then you have the music he did afterwards, you know, for, I mean, beginning and afterwards. I mean, he started out doing amazing records like Dirty Mind in 1999. And, and then after Purple Rain, you saw him really expand his, his style with stuff like Parade and Sign of the Times. And, you know, just really showed that there were no limits to Prince, basically. And and the fact that, you know, you had somebody who was this, 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 this sexual being in his records and... The, also, there was a kind of romance about the way he operated with that. I mean, most people would say like, oh, you know, sexual is kind of, you know, especially if you're a very religious person, you see it like, it's, a, it's sort of like a very filthy thing. But no, he did not make you feel that way. He made you feel like, like it was something, there's something almost oddly innocent about how he would express that. You know, you have songs like, one of his lesser known singles was a song called Let's Pretend We're Married, which was very controversial for the time. But you look at back on it now, it's kind of a bit innocent, really. And you really feel a sense of this man really was so heartfelt about how much he desired human companionship, whether it was just, you know, in a casual way or in a romantic way, you really got a sense that it was the same level of emotion and it was very spiritual. I mean, this was a man of God doing this. This was a man who was raised a seventh day Adventist and he became a Jehovah's Witness. And even though like he had to really pare down some of the more risque elements of his music once he, he converted to the Witnesses, he really still had that incredible power as a musician and that, that great charisma about him. I mean, as you know, um, everybody knows, especially Howie, he played over 27 different instruments. Like, he had a level of depth in terms of his understanding of music that just was unparalleled. And it really gave his music a distinct quality, the fact that he did everything himself. And not even just for himself, but for other artists that were um, part of his, um, you know, part of his stable. You had The Time, you had Sheila E., you had lesser known people like The Family and Jill Jones, and just all these people that showed you what a breadth of incredible talent he had. In the 1980s, the limits just seemed like unending. It was like like a bottomless pit of just incredibly catchy, creative music that, that he possessed. And I think that's the, you know, I think people are gonna discover as time goes on and hopefully more Prince music will finally be returning to the surface and from a very long time because Prince was very, very controlling of what music was, was released to the public. It just really showed just how incredibly gifted he was, not only at writing hits, but writing music that really was meaningful. And you really got to get a full sense of just how much Prince really just contributed to music today. I don't know what music would be like if, if it hadn't been for Prince. Even Michael Jackson, 
and Madonna, the biggest things that what were going in the 1980s, a lot of what started it was Prince. And, 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 and I think that it, anybody, can, if anybody can really explore what it was that made Prince's music so awesome, you really get a sense that oh, he started so much. And I think it's going to be a massive, massive void that will be missed in, 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 in popular music. And I, I, I'm, you're talking to a fan here. You're talking about someone who has like over a dozen Prince records and, and each record is just as interesting as, as the last. And I mean, you just, you just have chills thinking about just, just the level of depth and, and the level of, of, of the legacy that Prince brought to his music is just incredible. And, and he will def, definitely be one of the most missed American figures of all time in music. So I guess that's what all I have to say about that really. Thank you. Great job, Rocco. Thank you so much. And uh, for music lovers to think that we lost David Bowie and Prince, yes. two amazing, incredible, unique. unique superstars in the same year, yes. it's just hard to fathom that we right. lost them both this, this past year. Amazing. Yes. Great job, Rocco. Thank you.